Welcome to Crime and Justice. Uh, as everyone knows, not much information is coming out about Sebastian Rogers. However, the searches continue. Um, Seth, his father, was searching the Cumberland River. He said it is a recovery search, but he's hoping not to find anything, meaning he doesn't want to find a body because he, he believes his son is out there still, somewhere but alive. So he's doing a recovery because he's got a face fax. He's got a face fax that his son may not be alive. So he's got to cover all areas. He's got to. Right, so as you can see, we've got Cumberland River, and this apparently went 20 miles, covered 20 miles of this river. So I don't know how far that would be, but here it is, there's the Cumberland River. And I had, I believe, sonar and all this lot. I don't know how long they was on the river for, 20 miles, it might have been one day, it might have been two or three days, but it's covered 20 miles of that river. Will I go back and cover more? We don't know. But we do know the search is continuing. We also have new information after a search for missing teenager Sebastian Rogers. His father, another search Thursday. Now, officials telling News 2, they wrapped today after four days of searching. Investigators also say they covered at least 20 miles on the Cumberland River and used side imaging sonar in their search. Now, we do know some things of interest were, but they did not go into detail on what exactly they were. So we know the search is still going on and you won't give up. Sebastian is out there somewhere. And he needs to be found. And it's time for him to come home. And I I fully support his father and who he chooses to work with. That's his choice, not ours. Okay. So we are also, as you also know, I've mentioned a couple of times, I've been writing the transcripts for the interviews that CP and KP done. I'm still doing them because I did lots of interviews. I will also be doing the interviews that Seth has done as well, so we can look at them. Because I just find looking, writing something down and looking at the words is so interesting. Because you seem to spot more. Because when you're listening to it, it goes that quick sometimes. You miss certain things. And it's got here, there's a question. So I've got all the docs there because I'm not putting the people's names in that she's mentioning who are asking the questions. Wants to ask if Sebastian could have been sneaking out prior without you all knowing. Kate, then you hear Kate whisper in the background. I'd like to, I'm going to, I'd like to say, this is Chris, no. And the reason why I say that is not Sebastian. He's he's not a child that go, just goes outside any at any point in time without telling somebody something. Then Kate goes zero knowledge. I don't know what she meant by that. And then Chris goes, yeah, if it happened, we don't know about it. But our neighbourhood is a very small subdivision. It's a huge and and everybody here looks out for everybody. We all watch out to make sure everything's kosher in the neighbourhood and nobody has reported anything out of the nature. Well, how would you know? How would they know they had no cameras up? How would they know what's going on in the neighbourhood? Because they don't have no ring doorbell. They didn't have no outside cameras up. They have now. But they didn't before. You know what I mean? And then, uh, what else? 
Okay, there's another question that caught my... But there's quite a lot. Because this went... Because... I'm not joking. The show started like... Right? And it kept us waiting for over an hour. Over an hour before CP or KP come in. Apparently he had prior... Prior stuff to do. On the phone. So obviously he's on another interview with someone else. Um... Oh, yeah, hang on. Do I highlight some here? Yeah. Yeah. Keep going past it. Oh, that's about the active. Yeah. Oh, this is about why Chris doesn't want his daughter to have Well, it isn't about that, but it hinges on that. It says, how often does your daughter get to visit Chris? Respectfully, I've seen a lot of comments in the chat tonight saying that you did not want your daughter and Sebastian to be around each other. And I'm just not sure where that's coming from. Can you talk to me about that? Sure, Chris. Sure, i got no problems. So I have a parent and play with my ex-wife. What's that got to do with Sebastian? I don't know. I get her every, every year on spring break. I get her in the summer, hmm, which we know he does. And I get her like, we split the Christmas time break, right? Well, that didn't answer that question. It answered a part of that question. Right? And then it goes, our parents, my parenting plan, is very much like the mum's with her ex-husband. The only difference between the two is he lives here, so we have a great relationship with each other. So it's easy to be like, you know, hey, can I have them this weekend? This weekend, sure, man, whatever, you know. It's not like it's turmoil between everybody. Not like with Nina. You know, I'm typing up her transcript as, as I'm talking. It didn't answer part of that question. And the question was, uh, how often does your daughter get to visit Chris? He answered that. And then, I've seen a lot of comments in the chat tonight saying that you did not want your daughter and Sebastian to be around each other. But he hasn't answered that. And there's a lot of questions I've noticed he does skirt around. You know what I mean? Oh, and apparently they have been out looking. At this time when this interview was done, I think it was, what, three, four weeks by then? They've been out searching and putting flyers out. Hmm. Never seen anyone with you going out searching. Right. So... What was that one? Oh. Um, I'm trying to find another question for you. Because it just... Okay, I mean... Oh, that was where someone asked about... But we'll go over all this when I do my live. My full live. Right? Oh, yeah. So, had Sebastian ever played or been interested at the construction site before? Chris. No, he's never gone to that construction site. We have drove around the construction site in the car, but no, he's never been on foot. He's never wandered over there. I mean, I understand they're going with that, but unfortunately, there's not any chance that he would have gone would have that kind of interest. But then again, at the same time, dog scent was found in the construction zone. And then they disappear. You know what I mean? It's hit or miss. You know? Well, we know he did go over there. He did go over to that suburb. 
suburb. Because on the day went missing, the police went knocking on all the doors of those houses where people were living. And one of them said, she, they had seen Sebastian over there before, but not that day, not that Monday. But they had seen him over there before. So he's saying he's never gone to that construction site. How do you know that? You're not there. Hey, uh, you're not there, are you? So you don't know what he does. And there was a question about, they took this quite, oh, how dare you sort of thing, about possibly locking him outside the house and, and all this stuff. I think they did put him outside to calm down, perhaps, if he was getting really angry. Right? And I think he would go for a walk around that, that suburb, that area. I think he'd go walk around there, look around, see what's going on. You know what I mean? Anything. Rather than just sit outside his house for however long his mum would keep him out there for. So, yes, I do believe he went over there. And now it's sort of like backtracking. Like there's any chance that it could give a kind of interest. But the man, again, at the same time, jog scents were found. So he's having to backtrack by saying, no, but at the same time, dog scents were found there. Yes, because he used to go over there. That's why I reckon that scent of Sebastian, if they picked a scent up from that house, if those dogs picked that scent up, it could have been from the Saturday, the Friday, the Thursday, whenever. Because the scent will stay there for, I think it was seven days, up to seven days or more. So it could have been three days, it could have been five days before he went missing, that he'd gone for a walk around that site. And that's the way he would go, up to the construction site. Right? People are saying, oh, uh, he must have walked up there, or got in a car and they took him up there. No. I think he used to go up there himself. People had seen him up there, people who lived up there had seen him walking around. They recognised him. They'd seen him. So yes, his scent is going to be up there somewhere. So, as I said, we will dive into this a lot more on the live. And it'd be interesting to hear your views on this. Because, as I said, when you type something out or write something out and you see it in word form, you do pick up on it a bit more. You sort of things like things that you may have missed. Right? And it's like yesterday I was doing something on another case and I was watching this interview and it was only about three or four minutes long and it wasn't a, a video, it was just an audio. And it was like, oh yeah, hold on. And I had to go back a second or two to go over it again, because it was so quick, it was something you could quite easily miss. So I just find writing it out and getting informed like this, you pick up on things a lot more. And, oh my God, that interview went on for three hours, over three hours. And typing it all up, as I do, person, for what each person says, as best as I can. Some of it is inaudible. I can't always make out what they're saying. And Katie whispers a lot when she talks. So it's very hard to hear what she's saying. So I do have the comment, like the comments coming up on the screen as well. But it's just so hard with Katie when she's talking. Anyway. So this is an interview from the Duchess, the second interview they did with her. I don't know if they did another interview with her. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check on that. Right? If so, I'm going to have to type that one up. And I'll just type it using a three-hour one. <laughs> and we'll see. So this live, the live for this will be going out on... Hold on. Now, 
it'll be going out on the 21st, the 21st of July. So please, come along, join in, and I'll see you all then. Leave me a comment below, let me know what you think. Till then, bye.